Hi, I'm Antonio Sella, and in this video we'll discuss modeling an electrical circuit with one capacitor and two resistors. We will model it both in time domain, normalized state space form, and in the Laplace domain, obtaining a transfer function and an initial condition term. The model we get in this video will be later used to obtain the time response of the circuit. This will be the electrical circuit to be modeled. So let us quickly review the first principle equations. First, we have the basic equation of a capacitor. In here we have the current Kirchhoff's law for this node. And here we have the equation governing the behavior of this resistor. Current is voltage drop divided by resistance. And last, we say the same for this red resistor, the leakage current, which is voltage drop equal to capacitor voltage, of course, divided by the leakage resistance. So we have these four equations and we have four unknowns. U is the input, then we have R, R sub L and capital C as constant parameters and these four unknowns that can be solved by a suitable differential equation methodologies from the four modal equations. So the model is complete. Next step will be writing this model in normalized state space form. This will be the core of the dynamics, the state equation, and I must replace the symbols at the right hand side of the equal sign with something that only depends on the state, capacitor voltage, because it has a derivative in these physics equations. So the right hand side must be replaced by something that depends only on state and input and in this case it's somehow easy to replace this equation in there and then replace current from the input source by this equation and leakage current by the last equation so we end up being able to write this state equation and now just moving things and writing this in the normalized way x dot equal a x plus b u we have this state equation and this output equation so we have a normalized state space representation of the above circuit. The circuit will be subject to an input pulse inspired in rectifier setups in which, let's say, alternating current waveforms will be transformed to a train of these sinusoidal pulses. However, actual rectifiers usually have diodes, so this current cannot be negative. So we are not claiming that these equations are the ones to be used in a rectifier because, for instance, diodes would need some equations like this one I have highlighted so that current is zero if polarity changes. But okay, if we forget about rectifiers and diodes, this is the state space representation. And in order to simulate something in MATLAB, we will give the parameters some numerical values. So the two resistor values and capacity will be set to this randomly chosen values. And hence, this thing, which is the A matrix, will be computed like this. Likewise, B matrix and the output equation simply says that 
I must simulate one time to seed variable plus zero times the input. With this, I would be able to create a state space object in the control system toolbox. But as further manipulations will be done with the Laplace transform and the symbolic math toolbox, we will write equations in the Laplace domain with symbolic variables. The standard formula to transform a state space model to the Laplace domain is this one, carrying Laplace transform of the state equation. I quickly write the procedure. This is how to solve for the state in Laplace domain and then replacing this state in the output equation. We get this. You, you can stop the video and review this. This is not the objective here. So if I use the symbolic math toolbox and I compute these expressions, in this case, I just need to invert one by one matrices because it's a first order system. Okay, then this thing that multiplies the input is the transfer function, which I named FDT. And this thing that multiplies the initial condition, I denote it as TCI. Well, this is what MATLAB outputs. So we end up with a model in which we have that the output is the transfer function times the input in the plus domain plus this stuff times the initial capacitor charge. If we were to solve this with non-zero initial conditions, so this is the overall model in the Laplace transform domain. MATLAB is kind of silly and writes the denominator as 2s plus something, but usually we are more accustomed to seeing it as, let's say, 100 over s plus 102. Anyway, it's the same. So the pole is in minus 102. And for instance, that's the value of the A matrix one by one in the state space representation. So this is it. Summarizing in this video, we have modeled this electrical circuit by writing its first principal equations, checking that the model is complete because we have four equations and four unknowns. Then we transform the equations to normalized state space form. And we said that the capacitor voltage was our output of interest. And then we replaced numerical values and wrote the system in the Laplace domain as transfer function times input plus some initial condition related stuff. So once we have this model, we can use Laplace transform methodologies to obtain its time response, as we will do in future videos. So we end up here. Thanks for watching.